Hello and welcome to Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer with your Lord is into the mat. Hi Lord of Fortnosis, Harbinger, Spiffening, level 27, Boxes Madman, Cutus like. Viking, 2013, and all we around Neutral Guy. Somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one, there's a Nork! <laughs> okay, they've really spiced up that particular cutscene. Very good, uh, very nice. I like it. Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. I've got a dragon. Huh? <gasps> Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? <laughs> well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Yeah! I... Crush! Kill it! Kill it! that jerk that was ripto and we have to get rid of him he's causing all sorts of trouble around here but i haven't got time to explain here take this magic guide to avalar it'll help you begin to understand our worlds right now i have to follow ripto and see what he's up to i'll meet you in summer forest okay hey wait a minute <sighs> how do we get ourselves into these messes pal I just remember that they used to have a huge crush on both Hunter and the Fawn when I was a kid. And no, I did not realize I was bisexual back then. Hi Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems! Can you stop them? Maybe. If you can find my friend Twitchy, he'll reward you for helping us out! Cool. Anything else you have to say? No. That's fine. I feel like they've especially added like extra notes into this uh, team. Because I used to re remember it being like Spyro to Gateway to Glimmer. But there's like extra... Ex Extra beats in between now. I feel like they're not supposed to be there. Maybe wrong, of course. And I might just misremember. What are these shiny things? Those seem new. Is it because. Is it because of the fact that there's no. There's no... Uh, what should we call it? Sorry, 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 give me a moment. There is no gems being dropped by enemies, so instead we get those uh, light... light things? 
I don't remember them. But there might have been a mechanic related to that that I just really can't recall. I also don't remember these guys being quite this cowardly. There's probably an achievement for getting all of them in a row. We'll probably missed out on now. Also, that looks like a purple gem, right? Bam, five value. What's going on? Burn it. I don't remember if there used to be like rewards for burning everything of a type. But, but I feel like that was the case. As if there were already some skill points present in either free or Hello. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. But she does not kiss me. And she does not give me fire breathing. Different game, different times. Oh no. I forgot about money bags. I wonder if money bags would sell his own grandma for a cup of tea. Probably not, but for two gems, probably. Because two gems can not afford you a cup of tea, not in this economy. But it's shiny. Where are you chasing we gem the other way around? Too short to climb these ladders, and it looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. I forgot that was a mechanic. So we will not be able to 100% the level on our first attempt. Oh well. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. To get a good look around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. Why are you saying this to me? I do 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 do. I'm sorry, but that felt like I was really drunk. I'm not entirely sure what you're trying to sell me here. You okay? I hope so. Was killing you will feel a lot less positive. Ah, see, there it is. This one has this effect. Thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Thank you. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Step through the portal next to me to go to Summer Forest. Thanks for the advice, buddy. I feel like there's more to discover. Maybe even explore. Oh, we're already being offered flight over here. That's cool. Can I use this flight to bypass the necessity? Great! The super flight power up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Okay. Oh, 
On one hand, I don't feel like I remember this bit, but on the other hand, it feels very familiar, so maybe I do remember this bit. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Thanks, buddy. I mean, there's still several orbs in this level, so... Having the knowledge that I can leave the place does not mean that I want to leave the place. I wonder what, what color are the, perp the 25 perp gems in this. If the 5 perp are purple. And why would they change this between the games? But I'm pretty sure the purples were worth 25 in the original game. Yeah. Okay, so that door there is not for me to use. Is there an interior to this lamp tower? Does not appear so. No. But there's a path down here. Gems. I've tried hitting him with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Oh, oops. Yeah, I certainly remember this now. Nice shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. You can spit pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. Don't spit in public, kids. Like, use a sink or something if you need to spit into something. If you really need to spit. But then remember to flush. Toilets also work. Hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. Wait, are you saying I could have just used the other ones without aiming? But I actually know, yeah, I know that was true. What do you mean that didn't hit? Fine. How did that hit? That was one I was sure would not hit. You're bouncing around really confident, aren't you? It's like you know the place like the back of your pants. All the way over there. What a rude boy. It's a good thing they don't drop, gem, drop gems in this game, because otherwise getting up there to get those gems would be not the best of experiences that I've ever had. Ooh. Looks like someone forgot some gems here. I think it was me. Give me the rock. Nom nom nom. Gotta eat rocks. It makes you grow into a big strong dragon. And if you don't eat rocks, you'll just be a tiny dragon. Like Spyro. That's what he gets for spitting them out. Where is he? Up there. And look at how happy he is though. Do I really want to kill him? Seems like the answer was... I was having doubts, apparently. Because he certainly did not kill him. Instead now. Hey, you've saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. 
Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. We have technically not been given the task to chase down these orbs yet, but I mean, it's fine. Okay, well, this uh, corridor here looks to be well enough explored. The fact is that there are places here where I can, but which I cannot presently access. And as such, I might uh, become lenient on looting, and then once we can use the ladder, I'll just be like, oh, what do you mean all of the loot was not up there? I was so sure of it. Well, it's evident that there is loot like just lying around as well. But we can't get up to that flight module just now. Was it Autumn Worlds where we finally got the ladder skill? I don't even remember. I'll take the flying there. Thank you. Gotta get all of this. Gotta get every gem I can because money bags will want my money. So I can use something like Big. So I can use something like uh, a bridge in another place because there's bridges everywhere and bridges cost money. Bridges cost money, money, money. That's right. Okay, I think we are ready to move on. If I missed anything else, I'll just have to come back for it. I think the last gem is gonna be hidden, well, the last orb. It's gonna be hidden behind the curse wall. So we're gonna come back for it later. And when I say curse wall, I mean it's cursed. The moon's haunted and the, the, the orb is cursed. Full of sins. Not mine, luckily. And that means it's also not mine. So maybe, maybe let's not borrow it. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Well, I mean, it's not wrong, we just don't know what day that lunchtime will be. Oh, now this, this music is hitting me with the, nost the most nostalgia. Also, we can swim now. Yay! Water is... not every... Pool of water hurts me in this one, unlike uh, the first one. And I'm glad they did not change the 
design like for between the games for that. Also, can I do this now? No. Or was it like this? No. I think I needed to unlock head bash. Probably by paying money bags or something. Probably. I remember money bags being very important in this game. But on the other hand, whoop. Oh, I can't swim underwater yet? Okay, that's fine too. Alright, so this one is less friendly about uh, finishing everything at the time. called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Sure thing, buddy. It looks like there's been a bit of a wreckage here. You know, it would have been wiser to collect these gems while I was coming up. I think. But on the other hand, there is this elevator. So you can just uh, collect everything and then take the elevator. That's fine too. And I keep forgetting that I can't really dive right now anyway, so... Playing with water... Not quite as handy as it could be. Hey, now you're here! Hey, Aspiro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. I know how this works, how are we doing? Remember, press the jump button, then press Yeah, we've discussed this. Remember. Okay. You don't have anything else to add right now. Ooh, and we have access to our first portal. Ah! And we are promised an orb. But if we're handing out orbs, I'll take it. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Oh, this is okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Well, that's not gonna happen. Nice job. Now try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Yeah, this is what I was really looking forward to in the first one, but it wasn't there. It wasn't there. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Handy. Okay. I wonder what that achievement is for. Oh, so... The 25 ones are now extra pink. Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Thanks for reminding me of that. Yeah. What's my armor class? Can't just 
jump into the water yet. Hey, what are you selling and how much? Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Oh, it's 500 gems, so I have to do at least one level before I can do that. Okay, in that case, off to Idle Springs. What do we need from Idle Springs again? Land on Idle. Okay. We're gonna do that next time. And we are gonna do our best to land on Idle. It's not that easy to get a lady, I guess. And it's not... Doesn't make it easier to make one of your own. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time when we will go and try to land on an idol here in... Idol, whatever's. I already forgot the level name. Bye, Sparks!